Attention Westerberg students, before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone to please turn off your cell phones. Also, the use of cameras or other recording devices will get you a week in detention. Now get to class! September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary, I believe I'm a good person. You know, I think that there's good in everyone, but, oh. Um, here we are. First day of senior year. And, um, I look around at these kids that I've known all my life, and I ask myself, what happened? We were so tiny, happy and shiny, playing tag and getting chased. And napping, baking cookies, eating paste. Full eyes, fuck up, hunchback. Then we got bigger, that was the trigger. Like the Huns invading Rome. Sorry. Welcome to my school. This ain't no high school. This is the Thunderdome. Hold your breath and count the days. We're graduating soon. Why trash? College will be paradise if I'm not dead by June. smacking lunch trays and being a huge dick. What did you say to me, Skink? Nah, nothing.
bitch. Your solid Teflon never bothered, never harassed.
Miss you, ma'am. <gasps> Put an XO after the signature. What is this for anyway? I just found out that Ram used to hang with Martha Dumpshot. Well, <laughs> yeah, in kindergarten we all did. We all did a kiss on the kickball field. Oh, that's right, I remember. Ram kissed Martha Dumpshot. <laughs> it was disgusting. Perfect. <laughs> It'd be so righteous to be in the middle of a Heather Chandler oh. Veronica Sawyer sandwich. <laughs> Hell yeah, punch it in. <laughs> Let me even talk to that, Florida. Oh, don't read it. She's having an extra heavy flow and wanted some advice from my gyno. Ew, bro! <laughs> what are you doing? Please don't do this, okay? Not to Martha. What? You'll give her shower nozzle masturbation material for a week. Shut up, Heather! <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Martha has had a thing for Graham for like 12 years now, okay? This, this would kill her. Are we gonna have a problem? <laughs>
I thought he could just ask you a question. Hey, Ram, doesn't the cafeteria have a no fags allowed rule? Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. Holy shit! 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 <laughs> Why, when you see boys fight, does it look so horrible, yet feel so right? Oh, I should watch this crap, that's not who I am. Look at this kid. <laughs> Those girls seem really nice. <laughs> 
and let's move. <laughs>
this game. <gasps> Let's show this girl some Westerberg spirit! Yeah! Thirty hours to live. How shall I spend them? 
so determined to hurt me. Because I can. Oh my god, I just killed my best friend! 
and your worst enemy. Jackrats! <laughs> the police are gonna think that I did this on purpose. Oh my god, they're gonna have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin. <laughs> Unless. Oh, look. She was reading the bell chart. <laughs> <laughs> Take her handwriting. Just make it sound deep, like this. I had pain in my path, like Sylvia Plath. My problems were myriad. I was having my period. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> Get your head on straight now! Okay, 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 okay. Um, Heather would never use the word myriad because she missed it on her vocab quiz last week. So it's a badge for her failures at school. Work with me. Okay, okay. Oh, where do I start? Think long and hard. What would she say? What's her, her final statement to a cold, uncaring planet? Okay, um, dear world, uh, believe it or not, I knew about fear. I knew the way loneliness is stung. I hid behind smiles and crazy hot clothes. I learned to kiss boys with my tongue. But, but oh, the world it held me down. Uh, it weighed like a concrete rock we
happened at Ram's party? Why did you call me? Oh, well, that was the deal. If I got you to come, Kurt promised to leave me alone. <laughs> so, so you avoided date rape by volunteering me for date rape. <laughs> Heather's 
scrunchy. Shut up, Heather. I'm sorry, Heather. Heather Chandler is gone. It's up to me to replace her. Replace Heather Chandler? Please. You need to worry less about me and more about your reputation. Kurt and Ram have been telling the whole school about your little three-way last night. Three-way? Oh. No, there was no three-way. Nothing happened. I remember differently. I seem to remember there was a big sword fight in her mouth. <laughs> it sure big sword fight in her mouth. It sure sounds crowded. And then we both went down. And pledged our flags. It's a lobby. Oh. 
but we're filling it with feet blue bullets. My granddad scored them in World War II. They contained this powerful tranquilizer. The Nazis used them to fix their own suicides when the Russians invaded Berlin. We used them to knock out Curtin Graham. Just long enough to make it look like a suicide pact. Complete with a forged suicide note. Graham and I died because we had to hide our gay forbidden love. Certainly. My family has turned our town into a laughing stock. My boy Kurt isn't who I thought he was, and when I think he's sick, 
disgusting things that Gert and Ram were doing. You wait just a minute, Paul. <laughs> it is ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place that boys could not live in. They were not dirty. They were not wrong. Yes, my boy is a homosexual, and that don't scare me none. I want the world to know. I love my dead gay son. <laughs> Heather Duke, 
She's the one that started that three-way rumor. I've been underlining meaningful passages in her copy of Moby Dick, if you know what I mean. No! No, I do not accept this. We've already killed three people. This ends right here, right now. Or what? I'll... I'll break up with you. Any war is casualties. Doesn't mean it's not worth fighting. What? What? You, you, you'd rather go to jail? Hmm? And, and give a free pass to the thugs who hurt people? Evil fucks! that make life so unbearable that you can't stand to live in the world anymore. Jenny. How did your mother die? You really want to know? Yeah. My dad said it was an accident. But she knew what she was doing. She walked into that building two minutes before Dad blew it up. She waved at me out the window, and then, kaboom, she left me. I'm really sorry. I... It's okay. The pain gives me clarity. You and I are special. We have a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Making the world a decent place for people who are decent. When does it end? When every asshole is dead! <laughs>
had a wounded look. You know exactly what he is, and you love it. Stop talking. Only true dead best friend would give it to you straight. Veronica, I need your help. Sure. What? Something doesn't add up. I think Ram and Kurt were murdered. Well, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Woo! <laughs> No, look, I had to hurt her, okay? If JD caught her going through his stuff, he would- Kill her? <gasps> Is that what you're afraid of? I thought the Desperado hung up his six guns. Don't you trust him? I don't care for where we're right. Veronica, there you are. I need to draw the place for the assembly. Oh, oh right, this thing, Christ. Oh, I can't tell to the battle of my now. Show the muscle. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast?
Please and patronize like bunny rabbits. I don't patronize bunny rabbits. <laughs> this is their big secret, Veronica. The adults are powerless. And they're trusting you. You said that you would protect her. They can't help us. Nobody can help us. It's useless. We're alone in the ocean. And all of you are idiots. You should sit down now. No, Heather was a monster. Just like Kurt and Raymond Inn killed themselves, I killed them!
I now know thee, thou fair spirit. That's from Moby Dick. I appreciate a well-read woman. What's in the envelope? Oh, crap. Just a tangible reminder that at one point in around age six, I'm guessing, you and Martha Dunstock were friends. Where'd you get these pictures? Did Veronica give them to you? What do you want, money? A favor? No way. <laughs> oh, I really love this one of you and Martha in the bathtub together. <laughs> these photos are ancient history. Nobody cares about the past. Nobody cares about Martha Dumtra. There was a boy I met in kindergarten. He was sweet. He said that I was smart. He was good at sports and people liked him. And at nap time once we shared a nap. I didn't sleep. I sat and watched him breathe. Uh. Watched him dream for nearly half an hour. Ooh. <laughs> then he woke up. Uh. He pulled a scab off one time playing kickball. Kissed me quick, then pressed it in my hand. I took that scab and put it in a rocket.
about. It's a petition to have the governor declare a day of remembrance to honor the victims of suicide. I've gotten everybody to sign it, even the dweebs and losers. I'm not signing that. Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? <laughs> it was your boyfriend's idea. You did you? He made up the signature sheet and everything. Hold on. Okay. I don't know what JV is up to, but if you know what's good for you, please just throw that away. Not a chance. I'll just bake your signature like I did with Martha Dump Truck. She's in no shape to sign anything today. Why not? It was on the radio. She took a belly flop off the old mill bridge last night, holding a suicide note. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, wait, just some broken bones. Just another geek trying to imitate the popular people and failing miserably. Don't girl, keep it together. I knew you would come by. Now you're truly a heather. Smell how gangsta you are. <laughs> Punchy, she's not looking so well. Still, you heard that the scrunchy come join Heather in hell. Where have you been? We've been worried, sick. Your friend JD stopped by. He told us everything. Everything? Your depression, your thoughts of suicide. He even showed us your copy of Moby Dick. <laughs> He's got your handwriting down cold. Please, honey, talk to us. I wouldn't understand. Try me! Look, I've experienced everything you're going through right now. I know it all seems impossibly dramatic. Yes, who's fighting the law? The problems seem like life and death. Yes, who's fighting the stairs? I promise they're not. Yes, who's fighting the law? You don't know what my world looks like. Time's up, no stage of the
forgot to write my own suicide note. <laughs> Smart girl. Bring the trigger bomb out here to the football field and nobody dies. Except you. You keep holding on to that thing. I don't deserve to live. I respectfully disagree. Give it to me. Stay away from me. Or what? I am damaged. Far too damaged. But you're not beyond repair. Stick around here. Make things better. Cause you beat me fair and square. Please stand back now. A little further. <laughs> Don't know what this thing will do. Hope you miss me. Wish you kiss me. Then you'd know I worship you. I'll trade my life for yours. Oh my God. Happy endings? I can't promise no more Heathers. <laughs> 